You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we gon' fuck around, fuck around all night. What's good, you two? That would you're back again once again. And today, people, today we're for episode number nine of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. And we're nine episodes in, and the hype is still so real. In the last episode, you guys, we took on our first island trial, and we were successful, and we obtained our Normalium Z. So if you missed out on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. But today, we're going to go to Route 3 and meet up with Alima once more. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Sun and Moon, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you're already no, your support is greatly appreciated, and you already know can't nobody let's play a game that the motherfucking Happy Nation let's play is a goddamn game. So, well, let's go ahead and check out the squad real quick. Like, we have Humongous who's been holding it down for the longest of times. Rocking Disable Poison Guys Acid Spray and Bite with his Poison Touch. We got another Orange Berry we need to go ahead and slap on him. And we got Frankie, our child Frankie, who's holding the Quick Claw, our Pop Leo with Pound, Water Gun, Aqua Jet, and Disarming Voice. Now that Humongous has been caught up, I think it's time for us to... Actually, wait, can I, can I, how do I, there we go. I think it's time for us to actually flip that experience share back on, uh, because Frankie, if it's like, if he's like anything, like, uh, starters from other regions, he should be evolving soon. No, give it to him, dumbass. Give him the goddamn, oh, wait, no, 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 no. we can't turn it on from there. Well, then they're gonna give us the option to use it from there, so maybe we can turn on the experience share from there. But let me go ahead. We cut normally I'm Z. Let's go ahead and turn that bitch on. So that Humongous gets a little bit of assistance while we're there. But we're gonna rock out with Frankie. We've been leading with Humongous for the past couple episodes now. I kinda miss him. I kinda miss Frankie. I want Frankie to come back. I want him to come back. I want him to come back. I want him to come back. We wanna see what ends up happening. We have wild Pokemon in Verdant Cavern now that we can capture. Bro! That's that fucking animation as it came in. That was dope! It was fucking amazing. It was fucking amazing. It was freaking amazing, my dudes. Okay, I don't want to water gun him. I do want to catch this Diglett, though. It's an Alolan Diglett. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah. You're going to lower my attack like that? You're going to be a fucking dick? This, 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 this is the move. This is your decision. These are decisions in life that you made. First motherfucking Pokemon I encountered in this goddamn cave, and this is what you want to fucking do. These are the choices that you make with your life. All right. All right, big dog. I see how you living. That's resisted, dumbass. Try again. That's why you need a fucking trainer. Oh, you know what? You guys attack, attack raise. Fine. Maybe you don't need a goddamn trainer. Maybe you know what the fuck you're doing. But you know what? I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck you and your stupid ass hair. Mud slap? No, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. We're landing. We just need to land. Yeah, there we go. We just need to land one more. Fuck you, stupid ass bitch. That's why you don't get in this goddamn poke. Pokeball. I got scared for half a second. I was like, is a dope trio about to show up? What the fuck? So this nigga thought he was in the island trial. What you don't know is I already completed the motherfucking island trial. Stay in that goddamn ball, dumbass. What the fuck? I got scared for half a second. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so we caught ourselves in a lowland diglet. Look at that nigga go. Look at that nigga go. Oh my god. It, its head sports an altered form of whiskers made of metal. When in communication with its comrades, its whiskers wobble to and fro. Made of metal. So why is he not ground steel? Why is he not ground steel? I'm gonna name him... Alpha Alpha. That's how you, that's how you spell it, right? Alpha Alpha, because he's got the hair sticking out the top of his head. Alpha Alpha. Oh, look at he's all muddy. He got mud slapped. For, towel for wiping off dirt. Don't worry, buddy. I got you, big dog. Shine that nose up real clean. Go ahead, big dog. Yeah, boy. Come get you some. God damn it. Let me... There you go. Come get you some. I know you guys to be hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Clap that tail, my dude. Clap that tail, my dude. Clean them up. Clean them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's such a stupid. It's such a stupid little aspect, but I don't give a fuck. We cleaned him up. Look at this dumbass. Look at this nigga right here. All right, come, 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 come. You want to get captured too? Come, come. See, since it's a new game and we're, we're encountering new Pokemon, I'm down to capture like new Mons and whatnot. I feel like a kid again playing the game. Like I don't intend on using Young Goose. That nigga just got body. <laughs> that nigga just got body. But you know what? Because he's a new Mon, we're in a new region. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna throw a brand spanking new Ultra Ultra Ball, Great Ball. And see, we can't catch him. Stay in that ball, my dude. Make this easy on us all. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate it. You're smart. You're loyal. I appreciate you. And Frankie grew to level 16. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This nigga. Young Goose has been registered. Uh -huh. With its sharp fangs, it will bite anything. It did not originally live in Alola, but was imported from another region. Let's give him a name. I feel like I know what name to give it. Let's see, will it fit? I think that's a that's a great name. I am O. It all won't fit, but you know what? That's a great fucking name. It'll fit. So what do we have? We have more dirt on you, my dude. Let's get this off you. So that's not what. Okay, that's not what we're supposed to use. For dusting off sand. Oh, cause he used sand attack on us. Oh, I get it. Hey, there you go, buddy. I know you can't be that hungry, my dude. I know you can't be that hungry. Man, he swallowed that shit. Suck that shit down. Suck that shit down, my dude. Alright, so we're good. No evolution? So Poplio doesn't evolve at level 16. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what level he evolves at. You can see like the little burrows. I wonder what else you can find in here. Is it just Diglets and the uh, Young Goose? Or Zubats? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nope, nope. Alright, let's dip out. Let me run. Thank you. Thank you, Zubat. I appreciate that. I really do. You're smart. You're loyal. I appreciate you. Let us dip the fuck up out. So, goodbye, Verdant Cavern, for now at least. We are. This is Route 2. We caught a QE5 in Route 2. It wasn't even Route 3. Greetings, Captain Alima here. <laughs> As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's Barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they're escorted by a strong trainer. <laughs> Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. <laughs> Are you ready? Then behold the power of a Captain. Mm. Nigga, you just you moved a, You didn't even do it. Your fucking lackey did it. Like what? All you did was just you just Voila! Your world just got a little bigger. <laughs> I am the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island Kahuna Hala. <laughs> Bro? Kakui, that nigga was already back there. What the fuck? This nigga's cheating. Kakashi! Hey there, Dappy! Oh, looky at the expression on Lima's face. I'd say you cleared the first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z Power. Woo! Bro? Start off by selecting a compatible Z Crystal from the Z Crystal's pocket in your bag. Yeah! Then use the Z-Crystal you choose on a Pokemon. Z-Crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the Crystal. To be able to use the Z-Powers in battle, have your Pokemon hold Z-Crystals and you'll be able to use the Z-Power in battle. 
crystals. And no worry, you can use Z crystals over and over on as many Pokemon as you want. So it's not a one-time use item. Yeah. yeah. Watch and learn, cousin. Bro, a tutorial right now? A tut right now? <gasps> it's a Growlithe. 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 Oh, don't do this to him. You're going to use the Rock Z Crystal, aren't you? It's a big ass Z Power button. Jesus Christ. Fuck it up, my dude. Fuck it up. Breakneck Blitz. Z Leer. Z Leer? Is that like a double Leer? Breakneck Blitz. Rock Ruff surrounded itself with Z Power. Full Force Z Move. Oh boy. Fuck it up, Rock Ruff. You can even make the legs move, my dude. Jesus. Yo, I'm Z moving it up on any totem Pokemon I see from here on out. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck the bullshit. Oh, Kakashi. Z powers he heap all of the trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon. Yeah. Which totally wears you out. Using Z power once per battle is all a team can handle. Yeah. Oh, so is that why you've been looking so ragged, Professor? Shut the fuck up, bitch. It was like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you can spare some time to help me look for her nappy? Uh, I can go and have a look around the cave for you in case she wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her. Yeah. I'm glad we're done with the Lima. That nigga is so... Like, I know I gave him, like, the snob voice, but he actually is snobby. You know, like, behold the power of a trial captain. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Who the fuck are you, my dude? Who the fuck are you? I'm the only trial captain of Melee Melee Island. Watch me move this barricade. <laughs> 20 bucks says there's not another trial captain that makes that big of a deal over moving a fucking barricade. Watch. Watch me do me. Watch me do me. Docile nature, that's nice and neutral. Hasty with stakeout. Uh -huh. The brand new ability, though. That brand new ability, though. Alright, so let us skedaddle up out of here. And continue on our adventure through the Alola region. Scattering through Route 3, my dude. Thank you. Thank, thank the Lord this, this, this fucking shit here has been moved for us. God knows what we'd have done without it. I happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by a wild bird Pokemon. What adorable little pests they are. Watch out for flying Pokemon under, overhead. Is this a Spiro or is this a Numon? An Oricorio, perhaps? Oh, it's a Rufflet! What's poppin' with you, big dog? I see you! I see you, big dog. I see you. What's poppin' with you, big dog? What's poppin', young Pop Leo? Young Frankie's in the building? Level 16, still haven't evolved yet? Please hit once, please hit twice. Twice, call it good. That was a crit. Twice, call it good. Thrice, call it good. Thank you. Thank you, my dude. Thank I really appreciate that. Very, very much so. I got a quick claw pop, even though it's a priority move. Thank you. Yeah. I did a lot of damage, my lord. Can you, uh... Alright. He's like, can you tone it down just a teeny tiny tad bit, my dude? So I feel like... Actually, I kind of like this. No, they had this in, in 6th gen. They had this, didn't they? Like, certain spots, like on Victory Road, you can you can run into a high dragon. A high dragon would swoop down. Or different mobs would swoop down. It just wasn't moving spots like that. But wait, didn't they have that in 5th gen, though? On, like, the bridges? It was like that, but the spots weren't moving. That's that's all I was saying. It was like that, but the spots weren't moving. I don't know why I caught that roughly either. It was just I was just like, oh look, a new Pokemon, and I wanted to catch it. I don't know. I'm a loser like that, okay? I'm just let me play. I just want to play Pokemon. They pick fights indiscriminately. They grow stronger and more powerful each time they faint or are injured. Are you gonna give him a nickname? I'm gonna name you. What? I'm gonna name you Tomahawk, my dude. My name you Tomahawk, my dude, or as uh, Chris Farley says, Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawks. Wait, what is this? A pretty wings. He's just like Fit Gen. 
Just like fifth gen, just like fifth gen. All right, so instead of running back to the Pokemon Center right away, let us, I'll use potions right now. Fuck it. Instead of using our super potions, I'll use potions outside of battle and save our super potions for a during battle. All right, let's explore this here route. There's an upper path and a lower path. I like that. They both meet though. There's a triple path. A sharp beak. Oh, how convenient. Oh, really? I tried to walk past it. What the fuck? Is this how you encounter a uh, Spiro to get that trade for the Machop? I wonder. I couldn't get away. This nigga straight up wing attacks me. Fuck off! Don't hurt Frankie. <sighs> My dude, why are you doing this to me? Why? Why have you pinned me against the wall like this? You won't let me get away. Can I run? I got away safely. Thank you, Rufflet. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to explore the route. I actually tried to get past that too. I actually did. I tried to get past it. Okay, so let us heal up once more. <laughs> Just did it, and we'll do it again, goddammit. Because I do want to battle these trainers. I do want to explore. That nigga got... I'm ready. Understanding this will lead to victory. That nigga was ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. I'm ready to go right... Rising Star. I like the Rising Star character model. That nigga looks like he's groomed and clean and ready to go. His green shorts. He took an iron to them shits. He did. I can tell he took an iron to them shits. Alright, my dude. Uh, I'm really not sure how this battle is going to play out. That quick call, though. I'm really not sure how this battle is going to play out. I think it's going to take us a little while since you're a fat duck sitting on the other side of the field. And we uh, resist each other, my guy. Look at, look at the generations, though. First generation, all of the seventh generation. That's wild. That's wild. It'll be. I wonder. I wonder. Would people get upset if they changed the starter typings? Like in eighth gen, if the starter typings were like water, fire, psychic. You know what I mean? I feel like that's too standard of a of a thing, though. They couldn't do that. But then again, apparently they got rid of badges in this game, and who would have thought we'd have a Pokemon game without badges? Yet here we are. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And this nigga is doing no damage to me. Can you just... Just give me the experience. Just give me the experience. When you saw what Pokemon I had, you should have just said, you know what? Smack the hell out of your side up. That was a crit, too. Smack the hell out of your side up and just say, you know what? We're done here. Let's move along. Let's move along. Let's move along. We're done. I couldn't even show up the effects of abilities. What does Psyduck even get? He gets Cloud9 and Damp, I think? I don't know what his other ability is. But what do we have down here? A Heal Ball. What wild Pokemon are in the grass, though? Survey says... Spiro. A Young Goose. Not interested. Not interested, my dude. Respect to the Young Goose, though. He's living life on the edge out here. He's living life out on the edge of this cliff, doing doing the damn thing, making it do what it do. But uh, I'm not interested, my guy. I'm not interested. What? <laughs> do you have purposes about the type of moves in addition to that? What? That bitch, she tried to see me, and then she didn't. I stood right there in front of her, and she didn't want to battle me. Man, Rising Star Tatiana. Ooh, Tatiana. I see you, big dog. She got a pedal lil. She got a booty with a motor in it. Look at that, she wanted it. Yo, shout out to her, though. She actually looks like a black chick. Looks like Jay's sister in battle right now. But you're not going to body my, my, my child here. You're not going to body him. I swear, if she goes for pedal, I mean, quiver dance, right as I swap. The plays are so real. Mega Drain, lol. You would have thought. You would have thought. That's why you're on Route Three. Hope. 
I just want a poison type move. Can I get sludge, please? Can I get sludge? I'll get rid of poison gas for sludge, my guy. Because then we can acid spray and then sludge everybody down. Acid spray and then sludge everybody down. Look at that. Poison touch, too? Mmm. Mmm. Pedalil, you don't want this. Y'all want none. Y'all want none. Nah. Y'all want none. Nah. Y'all want none. Nah, nah. Hey. Nah, nah. That's when she whips out HP ground and gets a crit. But you know what? That means that I, we spoke about his typing in the last episode. Um, so the only thing, yeah, he's neutral, right? So the only thing he's weak to is ground because he's immune to poison. It's the only thing he's weak to is ground. It's just like Skun Tank, right? Right? Because Skun Tank, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skun Tank's poison dart, so it is only weak to ground type attacks. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I don't know why I'm so fascinated. It's just, it's a new game. I'm sorry. That's the only excuse I can give you because I know I end up repeating the same stuff over and over again. It's just, it's a new game and I'm excited for things. Do we just ignore them? Do we go over here? Mele Mele Meadow, a paradise where the Ori Corio dance. Oh shit. Mele Mele Meadow. Fuck is you doing over here, girl? She always looks so terrified. Nebby! Nebby, come back! There are trainers out the ass in here. Holy fuck. Ah! Nebby! Nebby ran off into the meadow here. Oh, you can see him. He's right there. All these trainers saw him. Into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use in battle. Zzz, hurry up and save Nebby already. We little Pokemon need all the hope we can get. Bro, how about you little Pokemon learn to suck a dick? He, he He's looking for me. It makes me so happy to see him search for me. It's proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know that you were retarded? <laughs> we were not in high school. I don't know why you ever say retarded. But it just fits so well. It just fits so well. Can I run into a wild Pokemon here? Survey says yes! Cutie flies. Well, that would make sense since it's, it's a lot of flowers. I want to see an Oricorio. That's what I really want to see. I want the Bile Ori. Really, nigga? I want the Bile Oricorio. I want the Bile Oricorio! Can you stop with the What the fuck, dude? I just want to fucking run! I'm not interested! You're a fucking gnat! You are literally a fly! Just let me the fuck go, please. Cutie fly called for help. Help didn't appear. Cause you're a fucking loser. Let me go. Thank you. you. Just embarrassed yourself in front of everybody. Everybody watching just saw this fucking cutie fly embarrass itself. Stupid ass. Made me use my fucking items on my goddamn Pokemon. Pissing me the fuck off. For no goddamn reason. I'm trying to get this fucking Nebula Pokemon back. And you sitting here being a dick. Bro? Seaward Cave? What the fuck? Bro, watch a Diglett pop up. Or a Zubat. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Hold on! 
on! Hold on! How did I just walk in here and get a shiny Diglett? That has to be an event. That has to be something that pops up. That could- You're not telling me that we just randomly got a shiny fucking Diglett! Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Bro. I'm naming him Ram. I'm naming him Ram after the TCG card. What? We just got a shiny fucking Diglett! No, that has to be so everybody, everybody that plays the game at this point, that has to pop up. That wasn't just me. That wasn't just me. No, 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 no. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Bull fucking shit, my dude. Bull fucking shit. It wasn't a shiny Zubat just now. Them niggas is green. We just got a shiny fucking Diglett? Are you kidding me? You're yanking my chain. You are yanking my fucking chain. What the hell is even in Seaward Cave? Besides shiny diglets. What the fuck? That's just like that's just like in X and Y. When you take your first step into the grass, everybody gets a Pidgey. Or like I'm pretty sure on on, on Sun and Moon, when you you got the when you encountered that first Pokemon that ran at you, everybody got a Makuita. I'm pretty sure everybody got a Makuita. At least everyone I spoke to got a Makuita. What the fuck is in here? This place is so mystical. This place is so damn mystical. That's not that's not a shiny diglet. That's a, and we caught it with one nest ball too, bro. What is happening? What is happening? I couldn't get away. Stop! Don't do this. I just caught a shiny better version than you, my dude. <laughs> this can't be real. Yo, I would. Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that section out and say I was shiny hunting. <laughs> We're shiny hunting in Sun and Moon. We're shiny hunting in Sun and Moon. Let me use a repel. I just want to see what Seaward Cave is about. Because it's so, like, off in the distance, nestled in the corner here. Like, what is this? What is this all about? Especially since we don't have an area anywhere on our map for it. The music is fucking lit, though. Got a goddamn star piece. Suck my ass. There is an exit, though. Question is, where does it put us out at? Damn, Skippy, I want to use another one. Because we need to go back up to that field. Yo, I like this cave, though. I like I like the, the change in the cave design. Never melt ice. Ooh. Bunch of interesting-ass items. Somewhat early on in the game, too. Okay, so this takes us back up to the top. So just to make sure there's no items that we're missing. Oh, so when we get when we come back with the Tauros, we can ride through there and see what item that is. Okay, so we can't get back up, but what is this? Kale e Bay. Huh. That's dope. That's dope. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here in Kale e Bay and everything, because obviously we can't go across water yet. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Uh, quite a lot happened. We need to get back through Seaward Cave and uh, help Lily find Nebby in in the, in the melee melee meadow. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode and all of its shiny hype glory, and of course we're proud of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your supporters get appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Do not forget. Ain't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can let's play a game. And you know what? I think the next episode might be an hour of fucking power. Why not? It's episode 10. Why not? Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for checking the video. We out this bitch. Bye.